हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टुडे वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू स्टेज नाइन सैंपल टेस्ट फ्रॉम आई थिंक दिस इज या फॉर फ्रॉम सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज कंपेटिबल फॉर द न्यू सिलेबस आल्सो यू कैन रिवाइज इट इट विल बी हेल्पफुल टू यू गाइस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव हियर राइट वन ऑफ दी साइंस we have here less than greater than or equal to complete each statement so we need to put these signs so this answer is 9 let's see uh, this is 0.3 that means 3 times 100 10 square means 100 so 3 times 100 that is 300 right and there is one decimal place so this is 30 Uh, so thirty is greater than nine. So this answer is thirty, and thirty is greater than nine, right? Now this one here is twenty times ten power negative one is one over ten. So this zero and zero is cancelled. So answer is two, and here answer is two also. So two and two are equal, right? Now number two here are some ratios. You can see we have ratios here A, B, C. And D. Now write each ratio in the correct position. Uh, in the table, one has been done for you. We have A here, right? So we need to see this is ratio equivalent to two, ratio three, and this is three ratio five. So we will go one by one. A is already done. There is no need to do that. So let's do the calculation for B. B is we have sixty centimeters, ratio one meter. so make sure that your uh, unit is same so this should be 60 cm ratio 1 meter is equal to 100 cm right now 0 and 0 is cancelled divide by 3 uh, so divide by 2 it's 3 ratio 5 so 3 ratio 5 is here so b is going to be this side right now next is c we are done with b now c uh, for c we have 800 grams Ratio 1.2 kilogram. So to make 1.2 kilogram to grams, we will multiply it by 1000. So this is 800, and this will become one, two, three, three zeros, and one decimal here. So that will be 800 ratio 1200. Now divide by 100. These two zeros will go. Divide by two. Two times four, then two times six. Again, divide by here. We have divided by two. Again, we will divide it by two. This is two ratio three. So C is B uh, two ratio three. C will be in on the left hand side, right? So C is done. Now D. Uh, for D, we have one hundred and fifty meters uh, ratio zero point two five kilometers. So we are going to multiply it by one thousand. So that's twenty five. Then three zeros, two decimal places here. 150 and 250. So this zero will be cancelled with this five. Uh, it's divisible by five. Five times three, five times five. So three ratio five. So D is going to come over here, right? So this is how you will complete this. Question number three: Simplify five uh, m n over two n. So we have to simplify whatever we can. You see, n is in the numerator and in the denominator. so we are left with 5m over 2 so this is 5m over 2 is the final answer right and simplify this here so take out four common so n plus 3 so because this 12 is 4 times 3 so 4 and 4 is common so n plus 3 left hand side over 6 so this we can simplify 2 times 2 2 times 3 so final answer is going to be 2 n multiply here plus six over three, right? Now expand. Expanding the brackets, we will multiply x to both of the um, these uh, terms here. So that's going to be x times x is x squared. Then x times this is minus two x. Then plus two x minus four. So this is gone because this is negative. This is positive. So x squared minus four is final answer. X squared minus four, right? Now solve this. Four x minus one less than two x plus nineteen. So shift x two x on other side. Four x minus two x, right? 
then less than sign will remain as it is 19 is there now shift 1 to other side that is plus 1 okay now 4 minus 2 is 2x less than this is 20 divide by 2 divide by 2 so we have x is less than 10 so x is less than 10 right so before we move to next question i would request you guys to subscribe to my channel please do so i will appreciate your effort and your support thank you so much those who have already subscribed so let's start in the next question we have 8 times 0 0.75 so first let's see let's uh, solve this bracket uh, so times 8 8 times 5 is 40 8 times 7 is 56 plus 4 it's 60 so this is going to be 600 but there is a two decimal place so it will remain only we will have only 6 over here so this will become 6 squared times 0 0.5 so 6 squared is 36 times 0 0.5 so 36 times 5 6 times 5 30 80 so this is 180 but we have here one decimal place so one decimal will come over here so this is equal to 18 so final answer is 18 right now the second b part here you see 2 over 5 times this is one term minus this is second term so remember that terms are always separated by plus and minus sign so this is first term this is second term and out of this you see 2 over 5 is common in both so i'll break this out 2 over 5 times in bracket we have 127 minus here we are left with 7 right 2 over 5 times 120 minus 27 minus 7 is 120 5 5 times 2 5 times 4 that is 2 times 24 which is 48 so final answer is 48 right now number 6 a has coordinates 6 minus 2 uh, b has coordinates 18 and 8 and Perez says that midpoint of a b uh, is this 12 and 5 so we have like this let's say this is point a this is a 6 minus 2 and this is b which is 18 and 8 um, that midpoint of a b is here he said that midpoint is here show that pair is wrong and show your working so let's see the midpoint so midpoint is like the average kind of average you add x1 so midpoint formula is midpoint you always calculate x plus x x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 so x1 plus x2 6 plus 18 over 2 minus 2 plus 8 over 2 24 over 2 this is 6 over 2 12 and 3 so you see we got here 12 and 3 but we have he is saying that it is 12 and 5 so he is wrong so hence you can say Perry is wrong question 7 uh, some boys take a mathematics test the scatter graph shows the time taken by each boy to complete the test and the mark they each got. So here is time taken and here are the marks. Uh, draw a ring around the type of correlation shown in the uh, scatter graph. A strong negative, weak negative, no correlation, weak positive, strong positive. If you observe here carefully, all the points are scattered here and there. So, there is no correlation. So, we cannot say it's positive or negative, whatever. So, we have only here that is no correlation, right? Now, B part. Seven girls take same mathematics test. The scatter graph for the girls were shown uh, uh, shows strong positive correlation. Complete the scatter graph to show a possible set of results for the girl. So this your answer may be different, different like the points may be different, but mainly you see this way, uh, this graph is increasing this way as time. So then we should have so 
so we can have any seven points here and there that are nearby like three four five six seven so points are gathered together and they are increasing so that will be a positive correlation question eight look at the numbers in the box we have numbers here in the box and draw a ring around all the irrational numbers so irrational numbers are the numbers that cannot be represented as a fraction so this is not the answer this is not the answer this can be converted also now here square root 8 will be a uh, irrational number and pi is also irrational number cube root is not because cube root of 8 is 2 so that is a whole number so you will have only pi and square root 8 now number 9 the point p has coordinates 1 and 2 this is p 1 and 2 the point p is translated by vector negative 5 and 1 to give point q so uh, point q is then reflected in y equals to negative 1 to give the point r find the coordinates of r so there are two translations here the first one p is translated by vector negative 5 so this represents x and this is y so x minus 5 so that means p is moving 5 units left 1 2 3 4 5 units left and 1 unit up so this is the point so this point p is translated and give to give point q so that means this is point q right the point q is then reflected in the line y equals to negative 1 y negative 1 is here you see this line um, y equals to negative 1 is this line this is y equals to minus 1 and this point is now reflected reflected means its reflection will come here so you see from this mirror line how many points how many uh, squares this q is away from this line 1 2 3 and 4 so same it will come down 1 2 3 and 4 so this is your point r right so now the question is find the coordinates of r so r is first we'll write down negative 4 for x and then we will write down minus 5 for the y coordinate right number 10 here are uh, the nth term rules for three sequences sequence a b and c match each of these numbers to the sequence in its term sequence a and we need to see like 24 is term of which sequence here a b or c so if i take here uh, 7n 7n for a 7n equals to 24 so n is going to be 24 over 7 which is not a whole number so that's not possible for this so 24 is not term of a now let's for b for b let's say if i put 5n for b to check for b 5n minus 1 equals to 24 so 5n will be 25 24 plus this one over 5 over 5 so that is 5 so yes this is the term of uh, sequence b so 24 can go over here now for 11 uh, so for 11 we can start with the uh, c with the c that is 20 minus 3 and equal here if you see um, 35 uh, negative 3 and equals to 35 minus 20 so negative 3 and equals to 15 over 3 negative 3 over negative 3 so again you have a number which is uh, negative negative 5 so a number of term cannot be negative so it will be a positive so this is not this doesn't go for c so let's check this for a so 35 with a you see directly here that is 7 times 5 is 35 so that means this is the term of sequence a right and then 11 11 goes with the sequence c the similar way you can calculate right now number 11 we have a diagram here uh, i mean this uh, symbol here this is an integer greater than one this is a decimal smaller than one and then when you divide them you get 60 so now we have this one 
is greater than 1. So greater than 1 may be any 1, 2, 3, 4, we are not given limit. And this triangle is a decimal. It's a decimal but less than 1. So less than 1 can be any but we have here 60, right? So 60 can be taken by, you must have, uh, should have a 5 there. So I can use... Uh, Mm, greater than 1, greater than 1, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <coughs> and if I take uh, 60 and something, so I may have 6. Let's say this one is 6. Okay, if this is 6 divided by what gives you uh, 60, right? So let's see. So 6 divided by this triangle is 60 and when you cross multiply this triangle is going to be uh, times 60 equals to 6 times 1 divide by 60 divide by 60. Thus this is gone. So you have this is 1 over 10 that is 0 0.1. So now let's see if it satisfies that. So triangle is less than 1 and smaller than one that's what we were given and a decimal so we got this a decimal so i think yeah this is working six and uh, zero point one so this is six and this is zero point one you may have different answers you can figure it out because there may be two three options for this one because there are many numbers when you divide and you get 60 right now next number 12 in this question, use a ruler and a compass only. Uh, show your construction lines. Complete this construction for angle of 60. So, to make angle of 60, you must have uh, this arc same. Let me show you how we can do that. So, when you take this compass, so you can measure it from here to here like this this arc which is given to you right to make angle of 60 you should have the same arc and then you should have same arc here right so this arc then you are going to join the line to make angle of 60 degrees so let me repeat to make angle of 60 your this arc and this arc length should be the same right now part b in the diagram bac is equal to 90 use the diagram to construct angle of 45 so if you observe it carefully this is angle of 90 right so that means half of 90 is going to be 45 so again first we will draw this line over here this arc now take half of this. Half of this meaning from here to here. Take the middle value. So from here draw an arc. Like this. One end. And from the second end you can draw another one. Like this. Then you just join it. So this is angle of 45 degrees from here to here. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys understood everything. I will wait for your comments. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. So if these videos are helping you, please subscribe to this and share it with your friends. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video. God bless you.